Just tell me about the game and how it went for you today. Uh, first half, I thought, um, as we discussed beforehand, um, our game plan was to go out there and orchestrate what we did in the first half. Uh, came in and um, had a really good discussion at half time and um, got over that and came out here and attempted the second half. It felt like, um, like I just said to Walter, that I'd shoved diesel in an unleaded car and it had just chugged away and stopped. Um, I don't normally get upset uh, or, or distracted by refereeing decisions, but I am really concerned about the consistency. Um, we had O'Dane, uh, for instance, um, three, four weeks ago with two fouls given two yellows misses two weeks. Um, uh, then all of a sudden the following day we see uh, Zebras and South Hobart and given a yellow for a, for a vicious tackle thrown to the ground. And then we see it out there that it was very inconsistent. You see a yellow card given, three times the same players had a chat to, um, no yellow card, watch the footage back later, chopped down from, the knee, from around the knees, gone and had a chat to again. I just don't see consistency and it's a shame because it, you look at it as the coaches, and I feel like I'm ranting a bit here, but... It needs to be said, enough's enough of this inconsistency is happening in AFL. It's blatantly visual here in football in Tasmania. And I don't get upset very often, but dearie me, it's ruining the football. It really is ruining. But as far as our second half, um, we were outplayed by a better side who put their foot in the gas. And um, yeah, we just seem to have come to a halt and they destroyed us. Um, so back to the video footage on Tuesday. Um, some of the players need to have a really good hard look at how well they track back, get between ball and, and goals. How much does it really mean to them to get past that, um, that uh, horrible hurdle of having to work for 90 minutes to get a win? Because at the moment I think there's a real core group of lads here who play for a certain period and then all of a sudden think that, that that's it. And it shows you tonight and it showed us quite consistently now that it's just not good enough just to take your foot off the gas. That's your, um, the game today? Uh, definitely a game of two halves. Uh, first half we were scratchy, couldn't put a few passes together, but second half really came out, showed a lot of team spirit and determination and yeah, got the win. So why was the first half so slow? I think we were just slow out of the box. Um, I, can't, I can't really put anything on it. I don't know. We were all pumped up for the game. I guess they were pumped up for it. They came here to fight and they did that in the first half and I don't think we were prepared for that. And what was said in the um, at half time to sort of get you up and going? Oh, we, just, we knew we had the ability and we just wanted to get back to basics and play the ball quickly, move the ball, um, communicate, just do what we do in training and implement that onto the pitch. Okay, any players that stood out today that you were impressed with? Um, moving Lucas into the middle was a great tactic by Dale. Um, he gives us a lot of drive going forward. I think he had a fantastic game. Um, looking at the second half, I think everyone was outstanding. First half, we were all pretty bad. The second half, it's hard to pick just one player. And then next week, what's the plan? Travelling? Travelling to Lonnie, yeah, big game. We'll just go there and we'll fight. Um, we know their quality side are doing really well, so we'll go there and we'll fight for three points. Thank you very much.